first episode of the 19 questions with series. Today we're going to interview an inspirational Sri Lankan entrepreneur who has not only appeared in Dragon's Den but also won all the hearts of the investors on the show. He is the founder and CEO of Sneaker Tap, Mr. Kamaj Silva. My name is Kamaj Silva. I'm from Mississauga, Ontario, and I'm here asking for fifty thousand dollars for twenty percent of my business. So tell us a bit about life before Sneaker Tap. Uh, growing up, I wasn't one of those go-getter kids. Um, I thought life would fall into place, but uh, then, like, I turned thirty, I guess, and life hadn't fallen into place. Like, the only thing I got married, and like, I got a great wife, but. Apart from that, um, I mean, I wanted to do some. I worked for a lot of companies, obviously. Like, I didn't waste a lot of time. But then, um, I ultimately wanted to do something on my own, so it was in the back of my mind always. But obviously, when I got got laid off, I'm like, that's the perfect time to go do it. Dragons. I started this business with seven hundred dollars in my pocket, <laughs> and I made over two hundred thousand dollars within the first year. Wow. wow. Whoa. So, how did you start with a business with just seven hundred dollars? The hustle, man. Like you cut corners, like you, you know, you go knocking on doors, and if they don't open, you just kick it open. Uh, it's basically um, creating something for yourself from scratch. Is mm. it, it, it's di- it's very difficult. Like entrepreneur lifestyle is not yeah. for everyone, you know. Like I still work sixteen to eighteen hours a day. Like n- no matter, I'm, I'm probably gonna be working sixteen to eighteen hours a day for the rest of my life, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and uh, retirement scares me. Uh, when I'm like 70 and if I have to retire like that scares me like I think I'm a workaholic because but I'm working for myself so yeah uh, I'm, everything I'm doing is mm-hmm. for myself so there's it, nothing's nothing goes to waste okay imagine if I was a customer how would you sell a pair of sneakers to me I wouldn't sell it to you I'll create content around uh, the sneakers I'll create an experience for you and you'll watch it and you'll want to buy it uh, I I don't like direct selling. Like if you take a Lincoln commercial for an example, like Matthew McConaughey is riding in a Lincoln in the back seat. Like that's all they show. They show the experience, and I'm a big believer of uh, experiential marketing. Um, you don't have to put buy now available here like in your consumer's face. That's uh, that was like ten years ago. This is like Christmas. It's better than Christmas because Christmas comes once a year. Very yeah. cool. Kicksmas comes once a month. Kicksmas <laughs> comes once a Kicks month. That's very so cute. After appearing in Dragon's Den and winning the investment, how did you change your business and how did you plan out the investment? Uh, there is an NDA in uh, place, so I can't talk a lot about the oh, investment okay. till March 31st, 2018. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, the business has grown immensely. Um, I've started two other companies, which is also sneaker fashion related, uh, and I'm looking at investing in Sri Lanka, which is a, which is good news, right? Like I I don't care wherever I'm in the world or like wherever I have businesses in the world. If I'm not doing anything for my country, like I'm nobody. So I want to yeah. invest in Sri Lanka. That's great. Uh, what do you feel about the e-commerce industry in Sri Lanka and in a global context? I mean, like. There's a lot of growth I've seen because I, though I live in Canada, I come back every year, yeah. every March I try to come back, um, and uh, each time I come back I see like growth. So uh, I know like people like Kapruka started like e-commerce in Sri Lanka, and you know like they've grown so much and they have like yeah. other businesses that's related to it. And I think there's a lot of budding, a lot of budding entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka who's in the e-commerce space. I don't know probably to like name names, but. I've, I've seen a lot and I think this is the perfect time to invest in Sri Lanka because uh, I think people should work hard in this country and don't blame the government like don't blame anyone around you like you have to do what you have to do to succeed so it's up to you so I, I see a lot of entrepreneurs actually doing it so for all the people who are lazy and who you know who complain about the government like do something about it Would you use Facebook or Instagram to market products? I use both. Both. Okay. So I, if, if I was given a preference, uh, I'll break it down by age. So mm-hmm. younger, I go Instagram. Younger than younger, I go Snapchat <laughs> and Facebook for everything else. All right. Western or classical music? Western. Uh, desk job or field job? My job. Any job, <laughs> as long as I'm boss. 
So go back in five years and change your past, or move five years forward I, into the future. I wouldn't change anything, uh, anything about me or anything that happened to me because I'm here because of the experiences I went through. One secret talent. Uh, I think I can sing. <laughs> Number of shoes you own in total. Three hundred and thirty-five plus plus. Wow. Your business idol. Uh, it has to be between Richard Branson, Gary Vaynerchuk, and probably Mark Cuban. Uh, three things that were going through your mind when you were presenting your pitch at Dragon's Den. Uh, I'm on fire. I'm gonna kill this. Uh, I'm gonna get their money. Uh, three tips that you would have for a person giving a sales pitch. Um, have an emotional story that connects with your audience is number one. Know your numbers. Uh, that's very important. Yeah. Um, and present yourself, man. Be like likable. Don't be uh, you know, don't be one of those people that no one likes. Uh, secret behind running a successful business? Hustle, hard work, eighteen hours work a day. <laughs> Uh, is the only way to do it, but also work smart. Like, don't work like a donkey 18 hours a day, but you know, like, you know, when you're working yeah. like a donkey. So, um, <laughs> hard work is what it is. Right. Uh, biggest challenge that your company had to face? Uh, starting up, I had to convince an industry that hasn't changed since the 70s. So, brick and mortar, like the footwear industry, yeah. they're, they're like everyone's like dinosaurs in the industry. They're so old, like. Nothing against old people, they're great workers, I'm sure. Um, but they, they didn't want to change their views and you know, create a new avenue of distribution. So con uh, convincing those first two, three brands was, was really difficult. Okay. Uh, if it was, if not uh, sneak it up, what would your dream job be? I would probably be a touring musician. Touring musician. Probably not a very good one, but <laughs> I would have tried. Three things that you miss most about Sri Lanka? Uh, Kiribati. Uh, probably my friends and hanging out with my friends. Um, I'd say the beaches, man. Mm. Finally, there is no doubt that you're a great inspiration to the Sri, I mean, to the Sri Lankan community for Thank conquering you. an international market. So for any Sri Lankan who has the same dreams, like they're aspiring to the same kind of dreams, what advice would you give them? I, I would say, yeah, stop complaining and work hard. And uh, another thing is, if there's, whole, if there's someone in your life holding you back, like it could be your mother, your father, it could be your brother, sister, wife, husband, your pet, whatever, like let them know this is what you want to do. Like have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, a direct conversation with them and be like, mom, for 19 years I did what you wanted to do. Um, I don't want to regret this when I'm 40 or when I'm 80 and on my deathbed. You know we're all going to die, right? So you got to take the chances. You've been put on this earth for a, for a reason. So if you don't try, you've already failed. Kamaj. Oh, Kamaj, no. You got 40% your company. I'm dying to say it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Ali. Awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Welcome. Next time I want the VIP box. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, I don't well need done. the VIP box. I got my shoes. I went in there for the dragon's money and I got it. I slayed those dragons. Go to sneakertub.com or sneakertub.ca. Pick your package from Sneaker Tub Original, Sneaker Tub Elite, or Sneaker Tub VIP. Pick your sneaker and clothing size. Hit subscribe and wait for the mailman to bring sneaker awesomeness to your door every month. What are you waiting for? Sign up now at sneakertub.com or sneakertub.ca. Canada only.